Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever played outside with a garden hose? One of the things that I enjoy doing with my kids during the hot days of summer is turning on the hose when they're playing outside on the trampoline and letting that thing rip whether they're expecting it or not. But one of them, because I have numerous children, one of them will inevitably sneak behind and grab the hose and kink it, giving the girls long enough to escape the powerful force that's flowing from the end of the hose. The Bible talks about our lives as the Holy Spirit flows through us. And did you know that you and I can actually be guilty of doing the same thing that my children would do with a garden hose, quenching it to prevent the water from flowing out? We can quench the Holy Spirit and prevent the Holy Spirit from flowing out of our lives. We do that through sin. We do that through selfishness. We do that through refusing to follow God obediently. And when we do that, we're quenching the Spirit of the Lord. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Thessalonian, uh, Thessalonian church in 1 Thessalonians 5.19, and he says, Do not quench the Spirit. Profound, right? And yet in the verses right before it, Paul says this, See that no one repays evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the Spirit. You see, if we want to live our lives without quenching the Spirit of God, then we need to be praying always, rejoicing always, not paying back evil for evil. And as we live out our lives walking in a spirit of forgiveness, the Holy Spirit of God is going to flow through us. So choose to, do, choose to live your life today in such a way the Holy Spirit flows through you and your sinfulness is not quenching that hose and preventing the Holy Spirit from flowing out. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.